cries when she calls me Ain't no sunshine when she's gone The house is in a hole Anytime she calls me Today I'd like to talk to you about the percutaneous flexor tenotomy. This is a procedure we do for diabetic neuropathic ulcers on the distal aspect of the toe and sometimes on the plantar aspect. It's performed under local anesthetic in the office setting and some studies have shown this is a safe place to perform these, uh, these corrections. Now one of the things I wrote a paper here uh, recently and this I was surprised to find out that 43-55% of all foot ulcers are actually toe ulcers and that classify in ways we could treat with this, this uh, particular procedure. And 63.9% of all amputations in diabetics start with a toe ulcer. So clearing the toe ulcer up is very, very important. So we are getting a lot more research here that shows emphatically that the best way to deal with forefoot ulcers and most other ulcers that come from biomechanical deformities is to correct the biomechanical deformity, which is something podiatrists do regularly. We're trained to correct diabetic uh, foot ulcers biomechanically. Also, one of the things that's interesting is that if you look at total contact cast, uh, this heals about 80% of the people, but 57% of them come back. And even a better study shows that 80% of them come back. So these authors that did these two good studies here, these are really uh, nice studies. They, sh they suggested that if you have an ulcer you're going to use total contact casting on or any other treatment modality that's best to to treat that condition with your total contact cast or whatever you decide to use but once it's healed to go ahead and correct the biomechanical deformity because in their research they found that by correcting the biomechanical deformity even if you start with total contact casting the outcomes are, are, are superior matter of fact the biomechanical correction is at this point there's no uh, there's no debate. It is the best way to correct the deformity. So for long-term healing rates, these are cheaper procedures and with a lot of research backup. One of the first guys to, to, to publish this was Munro Laborde, who actually is the guy who taught me how to do this uh, procedure. Uh, so I do this on the big toe and also the small toes as well. There's lots of other research. I, I've got 25 references here in my uh, paper that I recently did here. Uh, and all of these guys, came up with about a 92% heal rate as a collective here, here. Also, these ulcers healed in anywhere from 14 to 21 days. Um, very, very low complications, very low infection rate, uh, hardly none, and very low uh, problems here. So I'm going to show you a, a, a case here, and we're going to look at this patient here and show you what happened with this patient. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Peacock. I'm a professor in the Academy of Mental Invasive Foot and Ankle Surgery. I want to show you a patient who's diabetic with some chronic ulcers who actually, when she first came to us, she was actually, they had recommended amputation of her toe. And this is a big toe. You don't want to amputate the big toe because that can cause transfer ulcers to the rest of the foot. The big toe is a part of toe off in, in normal gait. So you don't want to take a toe off unless you absolutely have to. So here's her foot now after a year, after a year and uh, three weeks, uh, actually a year and three months after the surgery. So what we did with her to correct this uh, chronic ulcer, we performed a flexure tenotomy. We did this in the office setting. You don't, this doesn't have to go to the hospital. So this uh, is a much more reduced cost for Medicare than going to the hospital or amputating or, or, or going through wound care. This, is a, this etiology is because of a pressure on the toe. Patients that have diabetes get equinus, which is a tight posterior group. They also have 
fatigue in their intrinsic muscles which causes toes to hammer. So that's why they get ulcers on a toe. Here recently she had a flare up with a second toe and a lot of people that would have uh, this, this type of flare would end up in the hospital. I mean, I've had lots of patients that have been admitted for these kind of ulcers. Uh, but, you know, we see this is already cleared now in just a matter of a few weeks here. Uh, should we clear this up with the same way? You know, that she had the hammer toe deformity, which diabetic patients get because of the, the neuropathy actually causes the intrinsics not to hold the toe in a proper position. So this is already healed in just a few weeks. We don't want to take toes off. So um, one of the advantages of podiatry seeing ulcers is that it can be done. We can do little procedures, for, especially for toe ulcers, that are extremely effective. The, the results are over 90% effective. Long-term results are, are far superior to any other type of modality for treating egg disease ulcers. There's now 42 publications that actually indicate the same thing. All, all 42 publications uh, come with an over a 90% heal rate for these. And they're long-term, they don't come back. So you don't have a lot of transfer lesions and, and things like that you have when you amputate toes. When you amputate a big toe, the next ulcer is either on the second metatarsal or the second toe because the toe begins to grab where the big toe is trying to push off. So we're going to try to preserve as many toes as we can. This just leads to further amputation when you actually remove a toe.